Spirit of the living God, Lord, we thank you, Father God, for this day, for truly this is the day that you have orchestrated and you have engineered. Father, we thank you for the assignment, Lord God, to declare and decree the word of the Lord. Father God, this morning, we, we pray right now, Lord God, that you will, Father God, intensify your spirit within our hearts, Father God. Resensitize our spirit, man, that we shall be able to feel your presence again, Lord God. No more of you, Lord God. We thank you, Father God, for the word. Father God, we pray right now that your word will go forth as a seed planted into the hearts of your children. Lord God, at due season, Lord God, Father God, with the application of their faith, Father God, it will begin to take root, Lord God. Father God, it will begin to grow and it will begin to show manifestations of your fruit within their lives, Lord God. We thank you, Father God. We thank you, Father God. It's in the name of Christ Jesus that we do pray. And now who love the Lord, say, and if amen. Children, that's conditional. And if, children, everybody's not a child of God. Everybody is not an heir of God. Until you begin to move from the, the family of Adam into the family of Christ, that's when you become a joint Flow heir with Christ. Church. Religiously does not make you a child of God. There is a major difference in between religion and relationship. God just, don't, God just don't want repetition out of you. God wants relationship with you. have a relationship with someone. There must be something spontaneous. There must be something new each time. God wants to see how much you're going to renew your mind in him. Oh, say that again. Having a relationship is not convenient. It's not convenient. It is a mutual connection between two different parties or entities. It goes beyond association. Association is the connection of friends, allies, and or business partners. But relationships are mutual connections of a more intimate affection. In unity relationship stop pushing away from your brothers and your sisters in Christ it kills the ministry when after the minister or the pastor whoever stands and declare and decree the word of God and we get up and we leave and we don't fellowship with one another God did not create us to be islands but God created us to dwell together in unity if you are hurting I'm hurting God was if right there I'm by hurting. your bedside when you was on your deathbed God was right there beside me when I was in the hospital for a whole week for pneumonia I didn't even know I had hmm. right there by your side you can depend on God because he would never leave never leave you when you can't trace him you can for trust him. the character of God you don't believe me he is Jehovah Jireh he is the Lord who will provide amen he is Jehovah Rophe he is your healer when you are sick he is able to stop the process of the sickness and he's able to prevent it he is Jehovah Nisi he is your banner he is your victory he is him who who takes over the battle because the battle is not yours it is the Lord's he is Jehovah Shalom he is your peace in the midnight hour when you are laying up there worrying he gives you peace Hallelujah. He is Jehovah Sitkanu. He is your righteousness. He is Jehovah he is Raha. Elohim. He, is, he puts forth his power in your life. He is Elion, the exalted in the high one. He is the most high God. He is Eloah. He is the one God. He is Elohim Saboath. He is the God of hosts. Am I teaching this morning? He is Adonijah. He is Master. He is El Shaddai, God Almighty, or the All-Sufficient One. He is everything that you need. 
He is El Roy. He is the God who sees or the omniscient one who knows everything. He is El Elam, the everlasting one. He is El Bethel. He is the God of the house of God. You don't know who he is? You better get to know him. He is El Gibor, the great and mighty God of war. He don't play about his children. He is Emmanuel. He is God with us. He is Eh yeah, Asher, Eh yeah. Don't know what that means? He is, I am that I am. Anything that you need for him to be in your life, he says, that I am that I am. Know who he is. Based on his name, you know you can trust him. You know you can trust. Welcome to the bank of Jehovah. And God is your bank teller. And as you're going through your situations, bring all your problems and your situations to the counter and say, Lord, I deposit my trust your bank somebody here today have been going through a situation any kind of situation where it seems as if you didn't know how you were going to make it through you know God but your trust in him was a little low. Today, it's time to build your trust fund. 